This crowded market in Najaf, 150 kilometers south of Baghdad, is home to some of the most sought-after jewelry in the Middle East. Visitors from all over the region and Asia come here looking to bring home one of Najaf's famous rings. There are many types of gems. There is the Yemeni agate and then comes the peridot. There are all kinds of gemstones. Every day, thousands of pilgrims, mainly from Iran, come to visit the shrine of Imam Ali, one of the main holy sites of Shiite Islam. And buying a ring has become something of a ritual. Although on religious gatherings, some rings can cost several thousands of dollars. The most popular stone in the market, for which we have the most demand, is the Pearl of Najaf. People come here from outside Iraq. We've had Iranian visitors and other foreigners. They specifically ask for the Pearl of Najaf. There are cheaper options. Important rings from Turkey, China or Thailand can cost about $10 a piece and have become popular among some pilgrims. But jewelers insist true craftsmanship is worth the extra cost. Sometimes we receive products from Turkey or Thailand and we work on them manually. But people who come from Bahrain or Saudi Arabia, for instance, are not interested in these. Many attribute special powers to the gems. Emerald brings success, while the Yemeni onyx grants forgiveness. Some women believe they can help them find a husband, ensuring these rings never go out of style.